Britain's unprecedented decline in wealth has been making waves across the country. Has the most famous empire in the world finally begun to crumble? To understand this, let's first take a peek into the basics of the UK's economy. There's so much to talk about on the state of the British economy, of public services, some big questions. The economy is performing much weaker than it did before the pandemic, much weaker than it did before the financial crash back in 2007. The United Kingdom, comprising England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, has long been known for its diverse and robust economy. Traditionally, it has derived its wealth from a mix of industries including finance, manufacturing, and services. London, the financial hub of the country, stands tall as a global economic powerhouse with the city of London at its heart. The financial sector, dominated by the likes of banking and insurance, has historically played a crucial role in boosting the UK's economy. Moreover, manufacturing, while not as powerful as before, still plays a significant role, particularly in areas like aerospace, automotive, and pharmaceuticals. The services sector, ranging from hospitality to technology, brings an additional element of economic activity. However, despite this seemingly diversified economic landscape, the UK finds itself at a crossroads, grappling with a decline in wealth compared to other developed nations. Several factors contribute to this downturn. One major player is the ever-evolving global economy. As of 2023, Britain's gross domestic product growth of 1.8% over the period exceeds expansion in France and Germany. However, it lags significantly behind the robust 6.1% seen in the United States and falls short of the growth in Japan, Italy, and Canada. As other nations surge ahead with innovative technologies and emerging industries, the UK faces intense competition to maintain its economic edge. But what can be done to regain its crown? We're going to break it down together in a short while. Additionally, the aftermath of political decisions such as the uncertainties surrounding Brexit has left a lasting impact. The prolonged negotiations and the subsequent changes in trade dynamics have introduced complexities that ripple through the economic fabric. As the UK grapples with challenges in adapting to a shifting economic landscape, consequences are emerging. From industrial sectors to technological advancements, the implications of potential economic overtaking by other superpowers is a very real threat. Now, let's delve into the nitty-gritty of Britain's productivity tale. Over the long haul, productivity growth is crucial for improving living standards. It measures how effectively a country can produce more with less effort. While economies can theoretically grow by extending work hours, there's a limit dictated by the health of employees and the constraints of a 24-hour day. Boosting labor productivity, whether through investment or enhanced total factor productivity, which measures us overall efficiency in capital and labor use, becomes crucial. Total factor productivity improvements can stem from factors like improved management practices and heightened competition. Historically, Britain held the crown in productivity, surpassing the Netherlands to become the world's productivity frontier at the onset of the 19th century. However, by the turn of the 20th century, the United States had surged ahead. A study by Oxford University's Stephen Broadberry and Dartmouth College's Doug Irwin reveals that around 1850, American workers trailed their British counterparts by roughly 10%, but by 1910, they outpaced them by 25%. Despite the setbacks of two world wars and diminishing domestic competition, Britain never reclaimed its lead. By the end of the 20th century, its labor productivity lagged behind the United States, France, and Germany. The 21st century began with promise. Between 1997 and 2007, British productivity growth ranked second only to the United States within the G7 group of countries, with output per hour expanding at an average annual rate of 1.9%. Over that decade, Britain's GDP per hour climbed from 88% of Germany's to 93%. However, the global financial crisis cast a long shadow. Between 2009 and 2019, Britain's productivity growth rate ranked as the second slowest in the G7. A study by Nick Crafts at the University of Warwick and Terence Mills of Loughborough University revealed that Britain's productivity fell dramatically during this period, marking the worst shortfall in 250 years compared to the pre-2008 trend. The cost of this lost decade was huge, had Britain's productivity growth not faltered post-financial crisis. GDP per person in 2019 could have been a whopping £6,700 higher than it turned out to be. This downturn had far-reaching implications, underscoring the critical importance of sustained productivity growth for a nation's economic well-being. 
As we navigate through the intricacies of Britain's economic landscape, it becomes evident that the road to recovery and prosperity is paved with challenges, particularly in three pivotal domains, investment, human capital, and the diffusion of knowledge. Investment The Achilles heel of the British economy lies in investment. Notably, Britain constantly lags behind France, Germany, and the United States in investment, with a historical underinvestment in research and development. Adjusting for available capital to workers explains the huge share of the gap between Britain's GDP per hour and that of France, with about a third of the gap between Britain and Germany. Factors such as uncertainty about the future and a challenging financing landscape hinder the country's ability to raise the equity capital needed to support risk-taking endeavors. The bureaucratic hurdles in getting projects off the ground in Britain compound the problem. This includes possible advances in fields like technology, finance, and health. According to an OECD index of land use governance, Britain's planning decisions are second only to Latvia in terms of fragmentation. Basically, economic fragmentation is where different parts of a country's economy are not well connected or work together. It's like having a puzzle with pieces that don't fit well. This can create problems, making it harder for businesses to grow and slowing down the overall progress of the economy. When things are not coordinated, it can be challenging for everyone to benefit and succeed. People and Skills Deficit In the realm of human capital, Britain faces a twofold challenge. Despite encouraging more youngsters to pursue higher education, the country grapples with a persistent shortage of specific skills demanded by employers ranging from engineering to welding. The percentage of the population with higher secondary education qualifications, meaning those who obtain a degree and continue their education after the age of 16, stands at only 32%. This is significantly below the OECD average of 42%. Collaboration between vocational schools, further education colleges, businesses, and local governments is minimal, and plans for lifelong learning remain largely on paper. Moreover, the quality of managerial talent in British firms falls short when compared to counterparts in Germany and the United States. A 2021 study revealed that only around 11% of British firms match the management standards of the top 25% in the United States. Despite government initiatives, programs like the Help to Grow initiative, which provides subsidized management training, have not achieved the expected level of participation. This suggests that despite government support, there are challenges in getting businesses to take full advantage of such programs. Identifying and addressing these barriers is crucial to ensure that initiatives intended to boost economic growth are effectively utilized by the businesses they aim to support and innovation clusters like Oxford and Cambridge face constraints due to strict rules, preserving historic architecture, and the high cost of housing, making it difficult to attract the talent to have the right people in the right positions. Knowledge diffusion and geographic challenges The third crucial aspect involves the spread of knowledge. Productivity thrives when high-skilled individuals collaborate, ideas circulate, and transportation links seamlessly connect. Unfortunately, regional inequality in Britain is evident as economic powerhouses like London and prosperous regions including Oxford and Cambridge thrive. Meanwhile, the north and rural areas such as Middlesbrough and Hull face challenges like limited infrastructure, economic opportunities, and historical neglect. The diffusion problem isn't just geographical. Despite boasting world-class research universities, Britain struggles to disseminate the generated knowledge to businesses. Compared to the United States, the country relies heavily on universities rather than national laboratories, leading to a patenting rate half that of the US, France, and Germany. The Long Road Ahead There are many challenges that the United Kingdom is facing, and they're increasing. Because of Brexit, there's more competition internationally, which is expected to slow down progress. The Office for Budget Responsibility predicts a 4% decrease in productivity in the long term, and additionally, the aging population and commitments to address climate change are making things more difficult. Even though people initially thought that the pandemic might bring out positive changes, the latest information shows that productivity has gone back to how it was before COVID-19. There's a shortage of skills, with only 42% of adults in the UK completing higher education, while the average in other countries is 45%. The job market's performance is closely connected to how productive the country is, and some industries like engineering and digital technologies are struggling to find enough skilled workers. In the quest for improvement, there's no one-size-fits-all solution. Analysis suggests a multifaceted approach is needed. 
enhancing management skills, adopting technology for improved processes and accurate productivity measurement, and addressing the skills deficit through a comprehensive and collaborative educational strategy are key components of a potential remedy. However, there is a sad truth. The United Kingdom is at a crucial point, and the future doesn't look very bright. The reluctance of the political class to acknowledge the magnitude of the challenges reflects a deeper issue, an unwillingness to question the decisions of the past, especially Brexit. Both major political parties, the Conservatives and Labour, avoid looking closely at how Brexit has affected things, fearing it might upset their supporters. The gap between what people are told and what they experience is growing, and that's a big political risk. An honest acknowledgement of the challenges and the implementation of long-term strategies are imperative for a government to instill confidence among its citizens. Voters may not demand miracles, but they do seek reassurance that the nation is on a positive trajectory. If the government fails to bridge the significant gap, this will open the door to social unrest, an even greater decline in trust in political institutions, and a larger portion of the population demanding that political leaders step down. Britain now stands at a critical juncture, facing potential consequences like rising unemployment, eroding trust in the government, and a lag in technological advancement compared to global superpowers. The nation's prosperity is at stake, demanding swift action, strategic reforms, and a renewed commitment to innovation. To avert this decline, Britain must confront its challenges head-on, fostering resilience, inclusivity, and a dynamic economic landscape that empowers its people.